so glad to have you here with me today as we have fun learning together. <laughs> hmm. What a delicious piece of cake. Care to join me? <laughs> There are lots more from where this came from. You see, mom baked a whole cake and cut out slices or fractions for my sister and I. You want to know what a fraction is? Here, I'll show you. Remember mommy's cake? When the cake is done, mom always shares the whole cake into six equal slices. I get one part, Amaka, my elder sister, gets one part also, while mom and dad get two parts each, because I guess they are much bigger and have bigger appetites too. <laughs> each slice we get is called a fraction. So. We can say that a fraction is one or more parts we get when we divide something whole into several equal parts. Fractions can be seen everywhere in our daily lives. When we share things with our friends, when we buy things at the store and so on. When we write fractions, we do so with one number on top and another number at the bottom with both numbers separated by a little line at the middle. The top number is called the numerator. It tells us how many pieces we take out of the whole. The bottom number is called the denominator. It tells us how many parts a whole is divided into. For example, if I have a sandwich that has been cut into two slices, then the two slices represent the whole sandwich and that means the denominator will be two. Let's say I eat up one of the slices and leave just one slice. That tells us that the numerator will be one. To show what fraction of the sandwich I have left, we simply combine the numerator on top and the denominator below to give us 1 all over 2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> so now we know what fractions are, don't we? Let's have even more fun learning about fractions. Come on! <laughs> you can find fractions everywhere. For example, fractions are often created when I share my pizza with a maca or with my friends. Each part of the pizza shed is a fraction of the whole pizza. Fractions can also be created by dividing shapes into equal parts. For example, take a look at this whole rectangle. Now, watch as it is divided into two equal halves. We get two halves. Each part is called a half or one half. Here's a game we can play. Look at the two images and try to circle the shape that is one half of a whole. Cool! Here's another shape. A circle. If we divide it into two parts, we get two halves. And this is what it looks like. Each part is also called a half or one half. Let's play a game. Look at the two images and circle the shape that has one half of a whole. Let's look at one last shape. 
the star. Cute, right? It kind of reminds you of the rhyme "Twinkle, twinkle, little star," doesn't it? <laughs> Now, let's divide the whole star into two halves. That is, one half of the star and another one half of the star. Game time. Here are two images. Let's circle the shape that has one half of a whole. Awesome. Let's continue learning. Hmm. What a tasty orange juice. <laughs> We're still talking about fractions, and here's a cool fact. Do you know you can also make fractions out of a group of objects? Let's see one example. Here we have eight tins of orange juice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tins. They represent a whole. Now, let's try sharing them into two halves. We will share them between Amaka and I. So, Amaka gets one, two, three, four, four tins. I get one, two, three, four. Also, fourteens. That is equal. That means we both get exactly half of the whole eighteens. Exciting stuff. Let's see another example. There are twelve balls here. Again, let's try sharing them between Amaka and I. Here goes. One for me. One for Amaka, two for me, two for Amaka, three for me, three for Amaka, four for me, four for Amaka, five for me, five for Amaka, six for me, and six for Amaka. That's six balls each. We both get half of the whole twelve balls. That's fair share. <laughs> cool stuff. Wow! Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Time flies when we're having so much fun. I've got to go now. But do you remember what we both learned in today's lesson? We learned what fractions are, and we learned how to identify one half of a whole. Great! So, why not join me next time for another exciting lesson? I hope to see you then. Have fun practicing. Bye bye.